Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the Thule Hitching Post Pro here on our 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now guys, if you're looking away of getting multiple bikes to the trailhead, hanging style, of course, is gonna be a great option. The Thule Hitching Post Pro can also be a great little guy fitting in that category. Now it is very dependable. It's been on the market for a long time. There's reason people keep coming back to them. They are very nice. And of course, they had that quintessential bike rack look to them. Now with that, you are getting a nice dual arm support feature. Of course, it's pretty common on those hanging styles, but that's great of making sure your bike can't go left or right. You can see here, you can really get these guys down on there too once you get them going and your bike's not gonna be going anywhere. So I really do like the strap system and all these cradles. Talking about the cradles themselves too. Of course, you have that nice thick rubber strap there on top. Gonna be resistant to that UV rays. Gonna be holding up. I don't think it's gonna be fraying or um, cracking anytime soon because it is nice and thick. And also on the inside there, you have those grooves. Those are excellent of making sure your brake lines are fitting within there. And that way we don't have any friction rubbing up against our paint, damaging our bike as it's on our carrier. Now, one thing with hanging styles, you are gonna have a lot of sway just because when you have four bikes up on here, you're gonna be moving, things are gonna happen. Now, luckily for us, Truly also has a nice little anti-sway cradle here. So you can see, you're gonna have a little bit of movement still, but it's gonna bring itself right back in line. So you're not gonna re completely reduce all of that movement. What you're gonna do is contain it and making sure you're not gonna have a lot of kinetic energy bouncing back and forth, causing any damage to your bikes. Now it's always nice too on hanging style to go ahead and grab yourself a cam buckle system or something else to go ahead and start tightening all your wheels and your bikes together. And that way you can really reduce all that movement. But that would have to be a separate purchase. However, we have tons of straps available here at eTrailer.com. And of course, any strap can do. Now talking about the carrier's limitations though, we do have a 35 pound per bike capacity limit. So keep in mind that is gonna keep you pretty much well within those standard and a little bit into those mountain bike range of capacity. So that can be a nice little pickup for ourselves if our bikes are fitting there. Now of course, hanging style can be kind of limited on that weight capacity. Gonna have to be looking at platform racks if you're wanting to get really up there. Now one thing that comes to mind if you're looking for weight capacity is the Kurt Premium four bike rack carrier. That has about 180 pounds overall, which is putting you around 45 or so. So that can be a nice little pickup if you're looking for something just for some heavier bikes. But again, the Thule Hitch Most Pro does an excellent job for most of us of just getting our bikes to the trailhead. Well, to get the bike off is gonna take too much time. Before I do so though, that does bring us to our frame contacts. So we have three, as we mentioned, we have that anti-sway and these two here. What that means, we do have frame contact. That means our carbon frames not gonna be able to get on this guy. That frame contact can start warping and deteriorating those carbon frames, might lead you to some issues. And one other little thing too, one caveat, if you have any women's bikes, step through bikes or kiddos bikes, you are gonna need a nice little horizontal purchase to actually get this to work, as you guys can see. So if you have a kind of a weird bike, Bike that's sitting weird or those women bikes they just have or um, the step through bikes have a hard time getting the horizontal we may need to go ahead and grab ourselves a bike adapter bar that's also available here at eTrailer.com and that just makes it really easy to go ahead and give you that horizontal purchase really reduces that headache in the morning one thing though they are kind of hard to keep track of just make sure you are putting on the bike put them in your vehicle and that way they're ready to go on those Saturday mornings and we're not having to scrounge for them so we can go ahead and pop the bike off to do so I just come right up to our rubber strips pull down get them out of the way like so repeat the process on the other side and that does bring us to our anti-sway let me go ahead and pop them and now we are nice and released and you can see i mean how much that bike sways without that anti-sway there of course it's still going to be moving when it's on there but that anti-sway does a great job of keeping it from moving too much and brings it right back in line so go ahead and make sure our strips out of the way and we can start lifting our bike off. Now, one thing I will say too, can be nice to go ahead and stick those anti-sways out of your way when you are bringing your things down. So that can be nice. I'm just getting your bikes on or off. This anti-sway can just simply go right in the middle. Just gives you a little bit more purchase to get that bike on without having to fight it all the time. Now, one thing that's gonna be important to keep in mind here is gonna be our dimensions from the back of our car. Excuse me as I grab my tape measure here, guys. Now, you know the Jeep Grand Cherokee, not the uh, longest vehicle out there, but definitely not the shortest. So, we gotta keep in mind exactly what kind of length we're working with here. From the rear of our vehicle, from the bumper to the very end of our carrier, is gonna be putting us right at 40 and one quarter inches there from the back of our vehicle. Now, 
And I think that's also part and thanks to our shank down here. You guys can see how much spacing we have on the back here. Definitely not gonna have any issues with our bikes making any contact with our vehicle while they're on there. So that's not something we're too worried about. And what's nice too with hanging style, we really don't have to worry about our clearance as we get a really nice rise in this post assembly, making sure that our bikes aren't gonna be touching the ground. Now, of course, if you guys are doing a little crazy off-roading, if you have a very steep hill, I'd just be conscious of it, but it's nothing that most of us are gonna have to worry about. But we do actually have a way of shortening down that length as well. Right here at the top, we're gonna have a little spring clip and pin system. All we gotta do, unlatch that guy, take a little bit of that weight off, allow this to go. Now, I like this safety cable on here. You're gonna put it back right in place, but it's nice if you do drop it, it doesn't go flying around. One less thing to have to search for. It's just right there, ready to get latched back in, and now we're nice and secure. So you're gonna have a little bit of play here, but I don't think it's gonna be something noticeable. I mean, I really have to move it. So especially if we're driving, I don't ever be hearing it or feeling it on the back of our vehicle now. So let's go ahead and see exactly how much space we shave down. I'll pull it out just a little bit to get that maximum spacing from the rear of our bumper here to the very end now is putting us at 17 and one quarter inches there guys so definitely shaving down a ton of that space now we can get this in the garage hopefully or at the very least get a lot more maneuverability when we need to park this guy at the trailhead so nice that we can quickly shorten that down and it's going to go ahead and allow us to access our hatch as well now of course you are going to have to bring those arms in and get your bikes off but that still means we still get access to our cargo here so at the very bottom we have another spring clip and pin system very easy to start utilizing and while we're down here too guys remember i was mentioning that cam buckle system we do have a nice little u-bolt here that becomes great for any kind of cable locks or cam buckle system that we need to actually attach to our carrier but now that we have that pin and clip undone you can see that's going to go ahead let that go out of the way clearing all the way for the back of our hatch here and I can go ahead and pop that guy like so. And now you can see, I can get in here, get those coolers, bike helmets, anything I might need. I like how much space it actually gives us too. If we wanna go ahead, change our shoes, get ready to hit the trail. Nice that we have the full access to the back of our vehicle. Now keep in mind though, you know, you're not gonna have the easiest access to it when you guys actually have your bikes on there. So not gonna be a great easy access on the road. Again, probably gonna have to start looking at platform racks to actually get that quick and easy access. and. That's definitely going to be a little bit more of an investment. However, if that's something we need, I highly recommend checking out some of our platform racks for that ease of use. But again, I do like how easy that is to open or get put to the side, put that clip right back in place. It takes no time at all. So great, easy access for the start of those trails. Well, one other dimension we want to keep in mind, though, is going to be our clearance. Again, as we mentioned, not too worried about it when we are in the out position because of our bikes being so high. So let's go ahead and get from right here from the shank to the ground. From the ground to the top of the or the bottom of the shank is gonna put us at 11 and a half inches there. So with about almost a foot of clearance, nothing I'm gonna to be too worried about. Um, and so we're not too far from that rear axle. Just keep in mind as those front wheels go up, guys, the back will go down and so will your hitch mounted accessories. So if you have a very steep driver or something, just keep in mind, you do have about a foot of clearance there. Moving our way to the inside though, you can see we do have a shank here today with an inch and a quarter shank naturally. However, we do have a two inch sleeve converter on it, allowing ourselves to go ahead and utilize our two inch hitch. Now those guys are really easy to throw on and they're very secure as well. And it also does come with a threaded anti-rattle hitch bolt. So this guy's actually really small um, compared to a lot of them. It doesn't go all the way through, but it does still do a very good job of getting this guy in line. You guys can see I'm shaking the entire vehicle as I move this. That means we're bringing this all in line to one system, making for a nicer, smoother ride for ourselves bike rack, and especially our bikes. Now that does bring me to one caveat with the Thule Hitch and Post Pro though, not a lot of great innate security measures. You know, there's no cable lock, there's not even a hitch lock. So if we do want to go ahead and start getting a little bit of security for ourselves, that's going to be an extra purchase. However, it's definitely going to be nice for ourselves to make sure that our carrier stays attached to our vehicle when we leave it unattended. And that is going to be your Thule Snug Hitch Hitch Adapter, Snug Tight Hitch Adapter, allowing ourselves to get that locking element. And of course, a cable lock is going to be invaluable guys of keeping your bikes on your carrier so unless you just find yourself going on the weekend getting straight there taking the bikes off not stopping at any gas stations 
That can be a nice little option just to make sure we have that peace of mind for ourselves. Again, though, guys, I think it's a great little system other than just not having that security. There's a reason people keep coming back to it. There's a reason people like it so much. And of course, as I said, it just has that bike rack look. You know what you're getting. It's going to give it to you and get you to the trails in no time. Well, guys, I think that about does it. Oh, one little thing, though. I will say it does go right here on that backup camera. So you're still going to have your peripherals, but your main element is actually right into that middle post. Now, you're going to run into that issue with any hanging style out there, really. So just keep in mind that is going to be an issue for you. Again, if you're kind of wanting to eliminate that, platform rack is going to be your best option. Highly recommend taking a look at a bunch of them that we have here at eTrailer.com. There's a lot to name that are going to get you where you want to go. Well, guys, I think that about does it for our look at the Thule Hitching Post Pro here on our 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee. I'm Bobby. Thank you for watching. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then, onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway.